Ladies and gentlemen, aviation geeks and frequent flyers, my name is David and welcome to this new Simple Aviation video. Today I'm going to show you um, a hotel stay and um, you might now ask yourself, well David, this is an airplane channel, why would I care about airport hotels? Um, because this is a very special airport hotel and it involves an airplane. Um, I just arrived here in Stockholm, Sweden from Vienna and tomorrow I'm continuing to London and then to Los Angeles So I needed an airport hotel and you know there is a, red, uh, a reticent blue, there is a clarion There are like regular airport hotels, but there is one airport hotel in particular that stands out and that's unique as far as I know um, to Stockholm It's this old Boeing 747 they turned into a hotel So you can pretty much stay in every part of the plane if you are like staying here. Um, there are uh, gear shaft rooms right over there. There are rooms inside the engines. There is even a room inside the cockpit. And it's also fairly reasonably priced. So for my stay here I paid around 80 euros and I'm staying right here in this engine room. So let's take a look. The, they left the hull of the engine here and they just took everything that was inside they took out and then they put like a little room in um, The disadvantage of this room and probably the reason why it's so cheap is that um, There is no bathroom there is uh, You can use showers and a restroom inside the plane for free, but it's like minus seven degrees out so if you want to take a take a pee um, During the night you have to go outside and then uh, inside the plane but everything else is in here you have got your bed it reminds me a little bit of like a, a capsule or these capsule hotels in Tokyo um, you've got your TV you've got power outlets you've got a heating system and you've got quite a lot of stay here so I'm, I'm really surprised how how spacious this room actually is the little garbage bin down there a little storage space down here and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. The bed is also fairly large. And you have a little window out the back. And you also got your, like, you can pretend this is a balcony. It not really is, that's just a staircase. But you do have a great view. And if you're staying here during the summer, you can, like, take a picnic outside. It's pretty cool. This is an old Boeing 747-200 and um, it pretty much is very well conserved. So you can see like each part of the plane, everything's still here. And uh, it still is standing on its own gear. The cool thing is you can walk around everything. Like you can, you can just walk up here and touch the tires. Even though it's a little bit slippery because it's, it's very icy here. So one thing I want to point out is that uh, I'm not paid by this hotel or I, I don't didn't get to stay for free so they don't even know I'm making this video so everything I say in this video is completely my opinion. But I mean that is pretty cool isn't it? Like you can stay in an actual old airplane here. It's also fairly easy to get here. You can get here by bus. It's the bus line number three um, from uh, Alanda Airport, from the terminal area. It goes like every 10 or 20 minutes and it's, it's completely free. So you have a free airport shuttle included here as well. And every room, as far as I know, comes with a breakfast. At least my room comes with breakfast. And even if you're like departing really early, you can make use of that breakfast because they start serving breakfast at three in the morning. So if your flight leaves at six, you can still get a breakfast here at the Jumbo Hostel. All right, now I'll check out the bathrooms and the shower because um, it's just like 6.15 p.m. but I got up at 4.30 a.m. today and uh, I really want to get some good sleep right now so all right so this is the entrance to the plane you have to take your shoes off before you enter it
walking down here with my stylish slippers. So this seems to be the back exit of the plane. All right, let's just pick any of those. Well, that's a lot more luxurious than most airplane bathrooms. And you have a shower. There is a common area in the front of the Boeing 747, in the nose of the plane. This is where you can hang out, chat with people, and you can also buy certain things, like they sell beer and drinks and snacks, ice cream, anything you might need during your stay there. I got Sweden stickers for my laptop. The Jumbo Hostel in the common area also has a microwave, so if you want to heat up some takeout food, you can do that there as well. And you can also just um, take some books or games that you can use and read while you're staying at the Jumbo Hostel. in Terminal 2 right now, getting ready for my flight to London. So let's just quickly recap the stay at the Jumbo Hostel. So I actually didn't have high expectations of the Jumbo Hostel because, um, you know, it's an airplane. How much hotel can you actually fit inside a Boeing 747? And I was really positively surprised because there was everything you needed in this hotel, in this airplane. Um, the room inside the engine was a lot bigger than I expected. The bed was super comfortable. It was no problem at all to sleep there. Um, from time to time, you, you could feel that, you know, it's just an air engine hanging from a wing. So it's not like rooted in the ground. Um, like if somebody was walking into the other engine room uh, on that wing, I could feel that in my room, but that wasn't really a big problem for me. Um, breakfast was also really nice as far as I know. Um, Breakfast is included in every room rate. At least it was included in my room rate. Um, and it was a great breakfast. You had a uh, hot coffee, hot tea. You had a variety of juices with water. Um, you had yogurt, milk, cereal, like a regular continental breakfast. You had a uh, freshly baked... Um... Excuse me. 
och glöm dagens stödrisken samt för er. So in general, I would really recommend this hotel, especially if you're an aviation geek like I am. And um, if you ever have uh, a night here at Stockholm Alanda Airport, which for frequent travelers might be quite common because flights from Stockholm, especially long haul flights, are a lot cheaper than from almost other airports. Well, that's the reason why I am here, actually. Um, I'm now flying to Los Angeles on uh, return from Stockholm on Virgin Atlantic that just have cost about 310 euros about 350 US dollars return, including baggage, which is a great fare. So uh, if you ever want to fly cheap uh, via the Atlantic, fly from Stockholm, and if you stay at the Stockholm airport, um, don't go for like the regular airport hotel, don't go for the Redis and Blue or the Clarion, go for the Jumbo Hostel. All right, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to know more about um, everything aviation, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow for a new video.